Hello and welcome to another Riff video. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you how to play something a little bit more trickier than the last two because it features not only a riff but also some chords and the song is Seven Nation Army by the White Stripes. So Seven Nation Army, like I said, was released by a band called the White Stripes. The song is about 18 years old now, which makes me feel very old. But is also very famous, not only for the song, but also is used quite a lot of the time in football chants. So, this is what the riff sounds like. I'll play it for you first, and then we'll break it down to make it a bit more easy for you to understand. So the beginning of the song starts with the famous riff. It only uses one string all the way through. So just to remind you, the bottom string is string one, then it's string two, three, four, five, and then the thickest string, which is six. This song uses string five and only string five for the beginning. So it starts on fret number seven on that fifth string. So you, like we've always said, you count along, find the fret, and then count up seven. It's at five strings even, not seven. We haven't even got seven strings. So, it starts on fret seven on the fifth string. Now, you play this note twice. You play one long, and then one short. So it sounds like this. Now, after you've played that twice, like I said, one long, one short, you then go to the tenth fret. On the same string, you just play that once. So put those three notes together, you go in 7, 7, 10. Once you've played that 10th fret once, you go down to the 7th fret. You play that once, and then you go to the 5th fret. Now there is a certain rhythm that you have to keep for the 10th, 7th, 5th fret part, which goes. So it is quite quick. It's what we call a triplet, a crotchet triplet if you want to use the exact terminology but it's quite quick. So if I put that with the first bit, it goes like this. And then the last bit, two long notes, starting on the third fret on the fifth string, and then the second fret on the fifth string. They're two beats each. Now with that riff, you repeat it four times. So it goes like this four times. It goes seven, 10, 7, 5, 3, 2, 7, 7, 10, 7, 5, 3, 2, and again, 7, 7, 10, 7, 5, 3, 2, and then the last time, 7, 7, 10, 7, 5, 3, 2. So, this next section is all based around chords. Now, previous to this, the previous riff, I should say, use just one string. We're only going to use two strings for these chords. And these chords that we're going to learn are what we call power chords. Now you will find a lot of power chords in rock music. A lot of the bands like ACDC, uh, Guns N' Roses, Black Sabbath all use these power chords in their songs. Power chords are great because you actually only use two strings, two fingers. So the beginning of this chord bit goes like this. You start on string number five, fret number seven, and you press your first finger down there. Now this next one, to make the power chord, you use your third, or if that's too much of a stretch, use your little finger to press down on the string just underneath it, which is the fourth string, at the ninth fret. So you've got fret seven on the fifth string, and fret nine on the fourth string. Now, one important thing you've got to make sure that you don't do is play with your right hand all six strings. You'll get this sound, which does sound quite nice with that chord, but that is not the case for all the other ones. What you want to do is to just be playing with your right hand the two strings that you're pressing down on, which is the fifth string and the fourth string. So it sounds like this. So as before with this chord, you actually play it twice one long, one short. Now 
Now this next section is quite quick and is a bit more challenging, so we'll take a little bit of time to get your fingers round because there's some quite quick movement between these three chords. So you've already played fret seven and fret nine together. Then once you've done that, you slide up to the fret 10 on the fifth string still, and fret 12 this time on the fourth string. So fret 10 on the fifth string, fret 12 on the fourth string. So same as before, make sure you're just playing those two strings with your right hand, and you play it once. Once you've played that once, you have to quickly slide back down to fret seven. So again, fret seven on string five, fret nine on string four. And then you have to quickly, after you've played that once, you have to quickly slide back down to the fifth fret this time. So it's string five on, uh, string five fret five, and string four fret seven. Now the movement is this fast. So it takes a bit of practice because you need to know exactly what fret you're going from. So if I add that to the bit we learned at the beginning, it goes like this. So the last bit is the easiest bit, I think, of this section. You then, so you've already played fret 5 and fret 7. That's the last note you played of the previous section. You're then going to slide down to fret 3 this time on the 5th string and fret Four, oh, fret five, sorry, on the fourth string. You play that one once, but you hold it on for two counts. Once you've played that one, you then slide down to the second fret on the fifth string and the fourth fret on the fourth string, and you play that once and hold it for two. That last section goes like this. So if I put that chord section all together, it sounds like this. Now you repeat that chord section four times. As with the previous riff, you repeat it four times, and then you do the chord part four times. Once you have done that part, so you've done the riff four times, and you've done the chord part four times, You've got the end part. Now again, this is based around two, well three actually, sorry, power chords. They are the chord of G5, the chord of A5, and then a low E5. So to play those three chords, you put your first finger on string number six this time, fret three, and your little finger or your third finger on string five, fret five. Now, the same as before, you're only wanting to play those two strings that you're pressing down on. Not all six. This is what it sounds like, all six. Again, not a bad sound, but it doesn't work for all the chords like that. So you're playing just those two strings together, and you're going to be playing them four times. So you can go one, two, three, four. Four crotchets. One, two, three, four. Then you slide this shape on the same two strings up to the 5th fret, so it's string 6 fret 5, string 5 fret 7. You play this, these two strings together uh, four times again. 2, 3, 4. And then once you've played that, this is kind of similar to an E minor that we've covered on a previous video. You go to, you only need one finger for this chord actually. You use your first finger and you press down on string number 5 on the, uh, string number 5, yeah, fret 2. And you play that with the open, so no fingers pressing down, on string six. And again, you just play those two strings together. If you want to, you can play an E minor, which is string five, fret two, and string four, fret two. Or you can play the easier version, which is just the one finger chord. So that last section goes like this. It goes... Right, so that's the whole song. What we're going to do now is I'm going to play along with the backing track. But before I do that, one thing you need to take on board with learning this song, practicing this song, is it's made up of three sections. The riff, the chords, and the last section. The hardest thing about this song is connecting those three sections together. You might be able to play one section on its own, 
but then struggle going straight into the next section. So what you need to do slowly is practice the first section, and then once you've nailed that, practice the second section, nail that, and then try and con practice connecting between the two sections. It will take time, but more practice, the better you'll get at it. So this is what the song sounds like with the backing track that I have included. So here we go, this is Seven Nation Army. And that's the song. Like I've said, keep practicing it. It will take time. Slow things down until it's completely perfect. The backing track is quite quick. So you will, like I said, need to practice getting to that speed. But you can do it with a little, well, with a lot of practice. So uh, like I said as before, if you once you nail it, record yourself playing it, send it to school. I've uh, included a backing track for you to play along to, like I said, once you've got it nailed, and also how to play the riff. So I will see you next time, and uh, I'll pick guitar playing. Bye-bye.